We're going to show you some of the basics of how to use Filmora, such as how to edit video, add transitions, add effects, and export files. Use the clickable sections below to skip to different parts of this tutorial. Open Filmora and choose which aspect ratio you'd like to edit in here. Choose New Project here. If you want to open an existing project, you can select Open Project here, or browse your project library here. Let's open a new project. To add media, simply drag and drop files into the timeline here. You can find your imported clips under Project Media in the Media section here. The clips will show their file names and thumbnails. You can zoom in and out of the timeline by clicking and dragging here. On the timeline, there are video tracks for all visual content and audio tracks for sound content. Videos with audio attached are collected inside the video track only, but you can separate the video and audio by right-clicking and selecting Detach Audio. Your video preview window plays your edit. Move the red playhead to play from different points of the timeline. The lock button here locks the track to prevent modification. The I button disables the track. Add or remove tracks using the Manage Tracks button here. To move a clip, just click and drag. You can move within a track or move a clip to another track. The clip on the top video track is always shown above tracks placed below. On Windows, use Ctrl and Z to undo any changes you make. On Mac, use Command and Z. To adjust the clip length, click and drag from its edges. To split a clip into pieces, place the red playhead on the point you'd like to cut and click the scissor icon. The clip will now be split into two separate clips, which can be moved and edited independently. Double click on a clip to adjust the properties here. There are several sections to this, such as video, audio, color, and animation. You can enable and disable each using the check marks. Let's try adjusting a clip. Enable transform and adjust the rotation, scale, and position properties. You'll see how the clip is being modified in the preview window. You can also edit these properties directly in the preview window by using its nodes. Find other useful tools here, such as opacity, stabilization, and color correction. Select the Titles tab here to add titles to your video. Click on any ready template to import a new text clip on your timeline here. This can be moved and edited just like the other clips. Click the clip to get to the Text property section here to adjust text, font, color, and other properties. You can add motion to the text using the Animation tab here. Go to the Transitions tab here to choose a transition. Drag and drop on the start or end of a clip to add the transition, or drop between two adjacent clips to transition between them. These transitions can be modified or edited in properties just like other clips. Go to the Effects tab to find effects that can be dragged and dropped onto your clips. These will appear under Image Properties as video effects where they can be adjusted. To save your project, go to File and Save Project As. Click the Export button here to export your edit. You can choose from a range of templates here. Under Local, you can choose custom video properties including format, resolution and frame rate. Click Export to begin exporting.